Uh, so final part, what is it on? How to change, uh, how to transform. Uh, so we already mentioned that emotion is interdependent on many, many, many causes and conditions. Uh, so probably by now you will say, yeah, no, of course, like, I know that like, everybody also know. Most importantly, how to change. Uh, have you said that? Uh? Although it's important to know how to change, uh, it's also very important to know our specific causes and condition. Uh, because when I when I share about the various approach or various method to change, it's very generic, it's very general. It may not be suitable for your specific needs. So if you want it to be very, very, very effective, uh, the second part is necessary. Uh, we need to understand our specific causes and conditions. In other way, I'll say exactly why like this one, exactly why like that one. Our specific combinations of causes and conditions. Uh, okay. So the first approach is top base. I call it top base. Mm? Top base uh, means uh, we change our thought, change the way we think. Okay? Because what we think affects how we feel. Uh, in fact, that is the basic principle of cognitive behavioral therapy. By the way, cognitive, the simple name for cognitive is thinking. Just change the way we think, our feeling, emotions will be different. Give you a specific example. Okay. Situation. A teacher tells a mother, imagine you are the mother. A teacher tells a mother that her child has been disruptive in school, disciplining problem. Hmm? And you can find different mothers. So choose which mother you want to be. Okay? Uh, same situation, same teacher said the same thing, but you can have five different moms. Okay? The first mom is the anxious mom, Kanjong mom. Okay? The Kanjong mom will think, oh, is my child always like this? What am I doing wrong as a parent? So there's all self blame. Ayo, my child like that. Uh. Maybe it's my fault. See or tell Because uh, naturally the feeling will be anxious. Is that it? Okay. Then if another mom, angry mom, not anxious, not kanchong. It's on a big chick mom, angry mom, you know. <laughs> angry mom will think, uh, why the teacher like that one? Uh, singling out my child. Uh? Uh, other kids also like that, uh, why, why, why only criticize me? Uh? Uh, this one is a bit disruptive, uh, a lot of anger. Uh. Okay. Mm. So we show yeah. <laughs> the third one said, it's so embarrassing. Why? What do other parents uh, uh, think? Okay. And uh, teacher said that many times already. Or last year the teacher also said. This year the teacher also said like that. And many many teachers say I'm a bad mother. Uh, sad lah. Uh. Mm? Mm. And uh, this one happy one. Uh, maybe got John BGF one. Uh. BGF mom. BGF mom. Uh. Uh, oh, it's good to know that lah. Uh. I can improve uh. I, I can. Uh. Good. Uh, good. Uh, teacher give feedback uh. Uh, so the feedback, uh, we can work together to improve. Uh. Happy mom, BGF mom. <laughs> okay. The next one, uh, uh, happy and empathetic. Uh. Wow, being a teacher is not easy. Uh. Teacher very stressful. Uh, no. uh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, so you think uh, how to support the teacher and how to support your children as well. Wow, these are happy and empathetic. So can, can you see that it's the same situation, same teacher, same remark, emotion is different. So the take home message is be mindful of how we think. Make sense? So the first method is very top base. Very top base. And in cognitive psychology, they have identified certain patterns of thinking. Uh, certain pattern of thinking uh, very easy to make us stressed, anxious, and depressed. Uh, I'm going to go into details. All the eight approach, uh, I have no time to go into details. I will just give you an introduction and uh, I will refer you to other resources, online resources, uh, uh, if you're interested to find out more. Mm. So the first way of thinking is catastrophic. Uh, catastrophic thinking, this is the, this is the term they use. Uh, in, in our language, it's very thinking. <laughs> die law, die law, die law, die law. Okay? Uh, Jala thinking uh, my, my child will do well. Uh, teacher give feedback also, uh, no, no use one, uh, sure do one, uh, sure fail one. Uh. Uh, that's right, thinking. It's not very easy to lead to stress. Next one is discounting positive. Uh, so, 
and people give you a, a, a comment, uh, give you a compliment, say something about good, you say no good lah. You cannot see the good. You cannot see the good. Discounting the positive. You cannot see all the positive, cannot see the good. Discounting positive often comes with another one called mental filter. Basically, you only see all the negative side of the stuff. You don't see the positive. Even people try to convince you, ah, ah you did this one, but we don't believe. You only see the negative one. You discount on the positive, you enlarge all the negative. Unfair comparison, you, you compare like, uh, why people's husband like that, my husband not like that, why people's wife like that, like that. why last time like that, why not like that, it's unfair comparison. It's a mind trap. Telepathy, telepathy uh, is making assumption. Uh. Uh, you think I'm fat, is it? I'm fat, I'm <laughs> not. Uh? I'm fat, uh? You see, no comment, uh. no comment must be sure, correct one. Uh. You think I'm fat, they're laughing some more. Uh. Yeah? Uh, so telepathy, mind reading, making assumption. Uh, you no question. No question means you must be very confused. Confused means that uh, the presentation is very bad. Correct or not? You never say anything. Uh, correct uh, must be correct. Uh, it's mind ready. It's a mind trap. Another one is uh, perfectionism. Should, must thinking. Must be like that. Should not be like that. The slide must behave exactly this way. The mouse must, should behave in this way. Cannot behave in other way. Everything must be exactly according to my plan. Wow. This one. Uh, very easy to die <laughs> emotionally so there are different patterns lah. so in cognitive psychology uh, they identify different different patterns if you are interested you can read this book which i co-authored with uh, dr fidaos in upm it's a book called john la Fike, a guide on transforming thoughts for your well-being mm. if you want to find out more but the basic principle is how we think you affect how we feel, you affect our emotion. That is the basic principle. Uh, I just wanted to know the rationale. Uh, naming is the naming. So when we know name our uh, emojis, so is that how we know? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, okay. in, in the, for the past almost two hours, uh, you talk about emotion, you talk about causes and conditions. Uh, for, some, for some people, uh, first of all, they don't even know they're angry. So you cannot give a word to describe it. You're not aware. And all these thoughts are irrelevant. You talk about causes and conditions of anger. First of all, I don't have anger. I don't think of anger. Uh, so you, you see the importance of name it to tame it. Uh, in fact, before name it, must know it first. Uh, know it, then name it, then tame it. Uh, okay, next one. So just now it taught this. Okay. By the mean, uh, I share different approach. Uh, it doesn't mean one approach is better than the rest. It doesn't mean that. Uh, so what I'm trying to convey is there are different, different approach and different approach might be suitable for different people in different situations. Okay. Second one is body-based. Uh, so very practical. Okay. Uh, I tend to have nose allergy. My nose allergy will be quite bad, and I notice when I have nose allergy, it will affect my mood. Okay, uh, then do I go and change my thoughts? No need, very simple. I just take clarinis. <laughs> clarinis is a non sedating anti histamine. Very simple. Just take the clarinis, I'll feel better. So I no need to go and, uh, go and map out <laughs> all this. No need, no need so complex. Okay, no need to find out what my thought. Very simple. Just take clarinis. My, my nose will clear and I'll feel better. Right? Ah. Uh, of course, sometimes we have a lot of uh, body tightness. Uh, when we're under stress, uh, a lot of tension, or is trying to, we can do a mindful body stretching exercise. Uh, mindful body stretching exercise. If you're not sure how to do mindful body stretching, you can go to my YouTube channel. Uh, I share about how to do mindful body stretching. It's for relaxing the body. Uh, so that the body is relaxed, the mind will come down. Simple as that. No need to go and analyze what are the causes and the conditions. Very simple. Take clarinets, do some stretching. Things will get better. Uh, oh, sleep. Uh. Important of rest and sleep. Simple as that. Uh, sometimes I notice my mood no good. Uh. Just sleep. Go back and sleep. Sleep already, wake up. Oh, different. Impermanence. Uh. Simple as that. No need to go and analyze the causes and the and conditions. Another method is a uh, very body based. Body based. Right? Uh, emotions manifest in physical symptoms. It's true. Like, manifest in tummy discomfort. Okay? Uh, 
sometimes the way to deal with that is very simple. You suit the tummy. Instead of changing the thought, you just suit the tummy. Uh, you can just use your hand to suit, or play some chanting to suit the tummy, or just gently tap on your tummy, or sing a song, or say something positive to the tummy, suit the tummy. It feels better. Some of you might think, yeah, doctor, you say sleep. But I cannot sleep. Oh. Uh, actually, I've given a talk on uh, how to sleep well. I give it a whole talk on uh, on sleep, how to overcome insomnia. Okay, so if you have insomnia problem, you can refer to this talk. Okay, if you have a lot of body aches, body tension, you can refer to the mindful body stretching to release the physical tension. Uh, if you tend to have a lot of psychosomatic symptoms like the the IBS, the stomach discomfort, which related to the emotion, you can use this uh, kindful healing hand method. Basically, the basic principle is to suit the physical part. Uh, instead of dealing with the emotion directly, you just suit the physical part. So the second approach is more of body-based. The first one is deal with the thoughts. The second one, you deal with the body. When to deal with the thoughts and when to deal with the body depends on situation. Would it be just um, addressing the symptomatic issues if they are just soothing the body rather than dipping deep? Possible. Possible. Mm. So we soothe the body first. Then if we want to find the root, for me, no allergy is just no allergy. Like. There's, there's, no, there's, there's not no root. If there's a root, like, because I'm born as a human being, like, a human being can get no allergy like, if there's a root. Uh, but yeah, right. Sometimes there are some more uh, deeper emotional issues. Uh, so in case uh, dealing with the mind doesn't work, dealing with the body doesn't work, is the mic still working? Die or? <laughs> So the third one is wisdom based. I've come up with uh, five, five coping statements. See, these five coping statements are, what have I learned? I'm not alone. It could have been worse. What can I do? And this will also pass. And these coping statements are based on Buddhist teachings. Mm. So I have uh, sort of extracted the Buddhist teaching into these five uh, statements. So this shall also pass is related to the teachings of impermanence. It could have been worse is related to gratitude and contentment. What can I do is based on karma, action. What can we do to transform things to be better? What have I learned is about Buddha nature. Everything that is it's a lesson, there's something we can learn. I'm not alone is based on the teachings of uh, interdependence. We are all interconnected. Okay? I came up with this coping statement and I come up with a song for each of these <laughs> coping statements. I think most of us, especially have been in the Buddhist circle for some time, we, we know about these teachings, but we need to be reminded again and again and again. Uh, for example, this shall also pass. Of course, we know emotions will pass. Isn't it? Uh, this morning, I woke up a bit giddy. Uh, no longer a youth, <laughs> woke up a bit giddy, uh, then the feeling not, not so good. Uh, so I remind her this shall also pass. So we need to be reminded again and again. And one of way to remind ourselves is by using songs. Mm -hmm. So may I share another song with you? Yeah, this is my favorite. Watch the sunsets glow Everything we cherish Will eventually flow Impermanence teaches us To let it all show This shall also pass Like the morning dew Nothing gonna stay forever That's the truth we knew 
graceful when we're sad This shall also pass In the good times and the bad The flowers bloom and wither Seasons always change Life's a constant journey Sometimes it feels strange Enjoy fine laughter In sorrow be still Every moment teaches Every moment will This shall also pass Like the morning dew Nothing gonna stay forever That's the truth we knew Be grateful when we're happy And graceful when we're sad This shall also pass In the good times and the bad Always change. Life's a constant journey. Sometimes it feels strange. Enjoy fine laughter. In sorrow, be still. Every moment teaches. Every moment will. This shall also pass. Like the morning dew. Nothing gonna stay forever That's the truth we knew Be grateful when we're happy And graceful when we're sad This shall also pass In the good times and the bad So when I'm emo When I'm emo I will play this song to suit myself, to remind myself, oh, this shall also pass. So if you like these songs, uh, that's the playlist. So for each of the wisdom-based coping statement, I actually compose a song. Yeah. So if you are interested, you can scan. I just play the song and remind ourselves the wisdom from the Buddha. The first one is thought based. Second one was body based. Then we have the wisdom based. Behavior based. Uh, I just choose one example. Okay, one example. Sometimes, in order to transform emotion, we need action. Sometimes, changing the thought doesn't help. We need to action. A typical example that we mean by best example. If you have fear of swimming, the best way to conquer the fear of swimming is gradually just swim. Simple as that. Yeah. Of course, you can analyze all the causes and conditions. <laughs> you can have all the positive thoughts. But eventually, to really conquer the fear of swimming is to just swim. Yeah. I'm very glad that I conquered my fear of swimming two years ago. And I'm almost 50. Of course, I go and analyze myself about my causes and conditions of childhood trauma. Of course, I'm a psychologist, I can think in the positive. Of course, I am a Buddhist, say Buddhist wisdom, this shall also pass, things can change one. But eventually, in order to really conquer it, it just sweet. Then, all the negative thought and emotion will naturally change. The links, the chains are broken. So before I conquered the fear of swimming, I got this very funny thought. Uh, so I got this thought that if I swim, there are crocodiles inside the swimming pool, <laughs> there are snakes inside the swimming pool, uh, there are sharks inside the swimming pool. Uh, of course, it's irrational, uh, but that, that's the nature of fear. Uh, the only way to conquer that is just swim. Do it again and again, of course, gradually, uh, with, with compassion. Uh, uh, then suddenly, all those will be changed. So this is a very good example. Sometimes we need behavior-based method to change the emotion. And, hmm. uh, I won't elaborate more. Uh, we are running out of time. 
not running out of time. I'm speaking too much. <laughs> so for each point, I just highlight the importance of that. So thought base is change the thinking. Okay. Body base is treat the body. Take clarinets do stretching. Wisdom base is based on Buddha's teaching. It's so thought based as well, but more specific wisdom. Behavior based is do something. You do action. The next one is mindfulness and acceptance based. Okay. So when we have certain very strong emotion, so one of the way to overcome the emotions is after doing some simple stretching and breathing. Okay, we need a simple stretching and breathing to ground ourselves. Simple stretching exercises, simple breathing. Okay, then we imagine that our emotions are like birds passing through the sky. So it's considered one of the mindfulness based approach. The whole idea of this uh, method is to help us to be detached from our emotion. Because sometimes emotion is very overwhelming. It's very overwhelming. So we need a skill to be able to detach a bit distance. Not denial, we know we have emotion, but we want to be a bit detached so we are not affected so much. So there's a whole set of uh, exercises called the mindfulness-based exercises, or sometimes it's called cognitive diffusion. Uh, in, in psychology, it's called cognitive diffusion, but it's a strong mindfulness component. So do some body stretching, some breathing exercises, then imagine that emotions are like birds passing through the sky or clouds passing through the sky. You can be creative with the imaginary. You can also lie down on the bed. Again, do some body stretching, breathing, and then imagine you are the river and the emotions are like leaves passing through. So we are not the emotions. We are above and beyond the emotion. We let the emotion come and go. We can also imagine, we be creative, imagine that we are like a chess bot. We are like a chess bot and the emotions and thoughts are like the chess pieces. So the important part is we are the chess bot. We are not the chess pieces. We are not our emotions. We are not our thoughts. We are the chess bot. So that helps us to hold the emotions. Then acceptance base is simple. Uh, the keyword is it's okay to be not okay. Play in the form of cartoons. The one on the right. Sometimes it's okay not to be okay. When you make room for that, you are gentle with yourself and things do become okay. This sounds so very good. One day at a time, one task at a time, one thought at a time one moment at a time. Basically, we learn to make peace with the negative emotion, to embrace, especially if you have tried so many methods to get rid of the emotion, maybe the method is not to get rid of them, it's just to be with them. So these are known as mindfulness and acceptance based. Next one is energy based. Uh, listening to chanting is an example of energy based. Sometimes we, our battery level is so low. Uh, you want to do, you want to change the thinking, no power, no energy to think. You want to analyze causes and conditions, you know. uh, Action behavior also can very difficult. Uh, so we need something external. Mm. Listening to chanting, like my favorite is meta chant and ratana chant. By just listening to the chanting, so their positive energy, and that can naturally transform the emotion. Or associate with people who are wise, associate with people who are positive and healthy, that will naturally change our energy levels. Another practice will be the EFT tapping. Okay. I gave a talk previously on EFT tapping. So there are certain energy points in the body, we just tap on those energy points. It's called EFT tapping, tap. Just tap on those points. Uh, that can also help to uh, just, remember, just tap, 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 tap. Okay. There are different points. So you can go to this video, it will show you the 12 point, you can just tap and that can transform the negative energy. Uh, recently, I also find it very useful uh, if you do some essential oil, not that I'm selling essential oil, no? <laughs> but if you can put some essential oil on those same points, those same points, uh, 
you can enhance the effect. So just tap, 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 tap. Maybe the, this is very simple and practical. I think I should show you just, just the basic tapping, but very briefly. Point number one. The details you can you can refer to the video. Uh, the video will show, uh, but just roughly show you how it is. That is one point. Is another point. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And twelve. So all together, there are twelve points. Uh, don't worry about the exact point. If you go to this video, it will show you exactly what the point. Uh, but the principle is is energy based. It's built based on this acupuncture point. It's based on the meridian system. Uh, so sometimes we transform the energy. It will transform the emotion. So here I'm not selling this at all. <laughs> Uh, just want to show you that there are very simple, practical ways uh, to transform emotion. Uh, so three points for hands. One is here. Chinese is a curve. Okay, this is one point. Second point is here. Okay, the third point is here. The third point is about three finger breath. Here. One. Two, three. Okay. Uh, then for the head and neck, center is one. Okay. One, second, side, side, side. Okay. And the the one is the If you learn acupuncture, there are different different their name for each point. Uh, it's not necessary to remember the name. Most of you know where is the point. Uh. For hand, one, two, three. Okay. For the head and neck, one, two, three. And then for the legs, here, yeah, between the two toes. Tai Zong. This is a piece of Tai Zong. So, okay. And one is here. There's a bone, three finger below that. Three finger back below it. Okay. Is the anchor point three fingers up? Okay. Okay. I mean, this is an introduction. It's not a real workshop. We just want to show you. Ah, there's another method. There's the energy based method to transform emotion. Okay. So there's so many ways to transform emotion and change thoughts. Can target on the body. Can use uh, wisdom, can be action, uh, behavior, can also work on the energy point. Mm. Ah, if, if I ever direct inside out three, <laughs> I will add a few more characters. I will add gratitude, I will add calm, I will add, I will add uh, compassion. Okay. If I ever if I ever get to direct, <laughs> if not, then uh, today's session is considered inside out three. <laughs> uh, so another method is to overcome negative uh, emotion is by deliberately generate positive emotion. You generate the positive emotion. Okay, and one of the way to generate positive emotion is by gratitude. The Google Walk is just basically a gratitude exercise. So one very simple way is to use beats for this, okay, to count our blessings, to count our blessings. Uh, like, uh, today participated in Buddha Puja, today learn about Paticca Samupada, different origination, today listen to a talk on transforming emotion, so you use the beat to recollect all the good things in your life, all the little little ones. That would generate the joy of gratitude. So it's by deliberately generating uh, positive emotion. In fact, before you sleep at night, just count all the blessings, all the things you are grateful for, all the things you are contacted with. Or you can generate 
the loving kindness feeling by singing the Rasa Sayang song. This is my favorite. Okay, uh, allow me to sing to you. This is my favorite song. The song like this. Rasa Sayang, hey, Rasa Sayang, Sayang, hey. I may, I may, you may all be safe, healthy, and happy. May I, may you, may all be safe, healthy, and happy. Rasa sayang, hey, rasa sayang, sayang, hey. I may, I may, you may all be safe, healthy, and happy. May I, may you, may all be safe, healthy, and happy. Yeah. So day in, day out, even in my dream, I will sing this song. So you generate the positive emotion related to loving kindness and the early exercise you generate the positive emotion related to gratitude and contentment so there's another method the last one i just mentioned very briefly right? sometimes it's important for us to express our emotion sometimes we keep 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 but you want to transform very difficult especially if the emotion involves another party in the context of relationship or in family, uh, you cannot just tap, 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 tap or change the top. Oh, well, it, it's all right. La. I mean, temporarily, you feel better. But if the emotion is related to another person, that is important to express. But how to express? So let me introduce to you. There's a thing called NBC, Non-Violent Communication, which was uh, uh, developed by a psychologist uh, by the name Dr. Marshall Rosenberg. Okay. I like this model. Again, it's not a workshop, it's just an introduction. That uh, there's actually a skillful and uh, there's a wise, skillful, compassionate way to express our emotion. There are five ways to express the emotion. The one, of course, must stay comfort. Lah. You want to talk, uh, have to be comfort. Lah. If you're not calm, uh, everything we say is uh, full of anger. Uh, so, have to be comfort. So you do your chanting, do your body stretching, do your breathing, chant your namutasa, whatever we need to do to stay comfort. Number one. Okay. Number two is to state our observ observation. Whatever that makes us unhappy, whatever that stir any emotion, can say, but you have to make the observation. You have to state the observation. Don't car in car talk. Car in car is additional one. Okay. Uh, for example, if you are if you are late, let's say you came late just now. Uh, that is a fact, ma. And you say you don't care or you don't respect me. Or that one is additional one. Car in car to add salt. Uh, you state observation. Then you say a feeling. Uh, I feel upset. I feel frustrated. I feel disrespected because you missed the appointment or whatever. Uh, then you express the needs. Okay? Then you make a request. Okay, put it in real situation. Uh, okay, I'll give you two, two scenarios. Okay, the first scenario, wife is frustrated with her husband for not washing the dishes. <laughs> So if you do use this model, uh, you're gonna sound something like this. Okay. Honey. This one after Chana Motasa relax really, uh, you can say honey. Okay. Yeah. It stresses me out feeling when I have to clean the dishes after a long day of work. It's observation. Okay. I need things to be in order. Can you make sure they are clean before I return? You're making a request. I know you are busy too. So there's an empathy component. Maybe we could set up a schedule and share the responsibilities. So there's a negotiation part. You see how the, the model is in? Uh, so there is, of course, counsels. Then you express the feeling. You make the observation. You express the need. Then you make a request. And when you make a request, you also empathize the person's feeling and you're willing to negotiate. Cool model. Uh, there's a lot of wisdom, a lot of confession. Next scenario, eh? mother. Mother is unhappy with her young adult daughter who wants to move out to stay. I'm very worried. So expressing the feeling. I'm very worried when I know from daddy that you are moving out soon. There's observation that you are going to move. That's what daddy said. Man. Hmm? I need to ensure they are safe. You are expressing the need. I know you wish to learn to be independent. So there's an empathy component. Can you tell me more about your plan? So you're making a request. You want to find out more. How about postponing the date? You're willing to negotiate. 
so that we can make more arrangement to support you. So sometimes we need to express lah. This one, if you don't express, of course you can do you can do the chanting, you can do the EFT tapping and transform the thought, but it's temporarily lah. The issue is not resolved. Make sense? Good.